Well, guys, an LGBT Bible app is set for release. That's right. This is coming out. This is basically going to be uh, a very loose version of the Word of God, if you will, where they want to try to make it more inclusive for the LGBT community, okay, and even take certain things out of the Bible that they don't want there. We know people try to do this all the time. They try to rewrite scripture, you know, so they can really just take the pieces that they want from it and then flush the rest of the stuff out to the side that, you know, they don't want to mess with. This is crazy. This is unprecedented. I mean, you talk about rewriting God's word. This is territory you do not want to go down this road. You just do not. All right, guys. Well, an LGBT activist is creating a new Bible app that is targeting progressive Christians who often feel marginalized by church and biblical traditions. At its core, the Holy Text was written to be inclusive of all God's creation, especially those on the margins. With all the traditional versions of the Bible, our Bible app will include translations that refer to God in gender-neutral terms and a library of progressive devotionals and other resources, said founder Crystal Cheatham on the on the crowdfunding page. Now, PBS reports that the app will include over 20 different Bible translations and more than 300 devotional readings, meditation exercises, articles, and podcasts for LGBT Christians and other progressive believers. It's a place where a transgender teen can find affirming Bible texts, according to the According to the Indiegogo campaign, it's the place where your church will watch and then chat about a sermon. It's where you'll find new books and organizations that you care about. It's an app, but it's also a movement. It's about ending a stigma against what it means to be a Christian and filling in a pitfall that generations before us have fallen into. We can make that difference ourselves and for our communities. Basically, guys, for those who don't care about the Word of God and just want to feel good, inspiration type of message, that's basically what this app is going to be about, okay? Uh, It's dangerous territory. Like I said, guys, we're living in the last days, and Jesus talked about deception rising. He talked about false Christs and false prophets rising in the last days, and that they would come and they would deceive many. And that's what you have right here. You have the ultimate deception. And we don't... Look, it's not that we... We don't like the people that we hate the people. We just simply just don't like the sin. And we don't want them to get sucked down this path where they're being deceived and thinking that this is okay. When the word of God clearly states it's not. So when you call the Bible outdated, okay, when you call it just too traditional, old fashioned, which is what people are doing now, you're setting it up to be rewritten, to be inclusive, to make it just appeal to what you want your Bible to be. There's only one written word. All right, guys. So again, we're living in the last days. If you guys want to check out more, I'll put the full link below. You can check out more about this app. It is set to be released June 30th, 2017. All right, guys. I'll continue here to bring you up to speed on all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. If you guys have never accepted Christ as Lord and Savior, if you would like to, please let me know. Just leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior today. You could be born again, guys, forgiven of all of your sins. Come into the kingdom of God today where you'll have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity, guys. I promise you right now it'll be the greatest decision you ever make, all right? Guys, I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.